Shalom, shalom, everybody. This is your girl, Shiley or Israel. I'm back to you with another tutorial on making my smoothie. Now, this is a very simple recipe. Um, I'm making what they call the mom with the mango mambo smoothie. Here's the bag. And I'll be adding also some dark sweet cherries that are pitted already. I'll be adding coconut water, pure coconut water, and some raw agave, blue agave um, syrup. Now, I've been hearing a lot or seeing a lot from some of these YouTube gurus, gurus, excuse me, can't talk a lot, tongue tied, about sea moss. Sea moss, I believe we have 102 minerals that our body needs. Sea moss has, I think, 92 of those minerals already. So what I will do, I'm not going to do it this smoothie, um, but I'm going to make a sea moss gel out of this, and I'll make a tutorial on doing that um, or, you know, be along on the journey with me when I do that. But I'm going to make a sea moss gel and put it in my smoothies, as well as amongst other foods. A lot of things that they use, they put sea moss gel and dog on near everything that they do which is good for you so I'll start using sea moss gel um, but like I said I will not do it this time so I'm gonna go ahead and get started so we'll go ahead and get started with that um, first I'm gonna use and I'm gonna use my little ninja blender here put it in my cup and everything and I have one cup uh, glass cups I have a teaspoon, uh, I'm sorry, a um, tablespoon uh, spoon and another cup, uh, one cup, measurement cup. I'm going to probably put my fruits in here, you know, pour it in there, and then use this for my coconut water. Oh, but look, look, at, look at me, clumsy. And then I'll use the tablespoon for my agave. I'm going to use probably two to maybe two and a half tablespoons of agave nectar simply because I like mine to be kind of sweet and I don't want to be too sweet so that should be just right so um, I'm going to get with that and let me prepare everything get it together and then I'll come back with you and then we'll go ahead and put everything into the blender and you'll see what I do from there okay guys so now I'm back with pretty much all of my ingredients um, to the most for the most part in order for me to get ready to put inside of my cup so here I have one cup of the mango mamba and one cup of the frozen cherries in this cup one cup of um, coconut water and of course here is my agave um, so I'm gonna go ahead and put the two cups of fruit into my cup hold on one second while I do that All right, guys. So hopefully you should be able to see me. So I'm going to pour my fruits in this cup. Then I'm going to go ahead and pour my do my two and a half tablespoons of raw agave. Or maybe I might just do two tablespoons. Because it was perfect the last time. So I'll do it that way. Get all that slash drop. Okay. And then I'm going to put the one cup of coconut water inside of here. my lid Woo. put my lid on here make sure it's on nice and tight and right I'm gonna use my neutral my ninja and get that thing going and I'm going to blend it you guys Let's see. 
I wonder if it's at my right consistency that I like, guys. So, if it's not, then I'll put a little bit more coconut water in here. And it's right. It's right. So now what I'm going to do is take my top automatically that it has for it. Sorry. And get me a straw and I'm going to put it inside of here. Well, let's give it a taste. Okay. So this is it. And it is at a decent smoothie consistency. And now for my favorite part. The taste test. Mm. This is so good. Mm. Who knew? Something so healthy. So good. Well, that is it. I hope you like my video on my vegan tour. Again, this is Shy Lior coming at you. Shalom, most high grace bless. And don't forget to comment or like and subscribe. Either or. I would hope you like and subscribe. Shalom.